Hey everybody, this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home and it's Thursday and I'm sharing with you my grocery haul for this week. I only went to two stores, kind of a rarity. And uh, the first store, of course, is my discount grocery and the other one is Aldi and that is it this week. But I actually, I cannot believe, I thought I was right on the money. Like, like literally, like no change, perfect, perfect pricing this week, but I was actually one dollar over, so. Not too bad, not pretty close. Um, but let me show you the total. I'll give you the receipts and then I'm gonna show you what I got. So let's take a look. Okay, so here on the board, you can see that at the discount grocery, I spent $36.29. All the, I spent $9.71 for a total of $46. That's just $1 over our new grocery budget of $45 a week. Let's check out the receipts. Over here, we have the receipts. Of course, this is my discount grocery. You can see I got a lot for $36.29. And here's my Aldi receipt, and we spent $9.71. So we did pretty well. With this our is receipts. what we got right here, our full uh, grocery haul. I'll show you what I got at Aldi first, since that was our small receipt. And it's back over here. First, I got this gluten-free pasta, the rotini here. It was $1.69. I got two things of hot dog buns. They were $0.83 cents each. I needed some pepper. I was out completely of black pepper, and that was $2.59, and then I got two things of cheese. I got mozzarella and sharp cheddar, and they were $1.79 each, and that was it at Aldi. Right here, this is it. Right here at Aldi. $9.71. So that should tell you that all the rest of this table was $36 in my discount grocery. Let's talk about what we got. Uh, let's start over here with these wonderful... Uh, fruits and veggies. I mean, let's start right here at the back. Mushrooms. I got two containers of organic mushrooms. Two for a dollar, guys. Two for a dollar. I got some great deals today. These pomegranates. Let's see, the pomegranate seeds. Also, two for a dollar. I got two of those. So, one dollar, one dollar. This organic kit. I actually got this before. And it was really, really good. We liked it, so I had more of them. And I went ahead and picked that up for also... 50 cents. I grabbed one of those. I got a bag of frozen mixed vegetables for a dollar, so we're going to use that. I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm really into kale now, for whatever reason. I'm loving kale. So we got this Kale Yeah salad kit. Tangy citrus. 50 cents, guys. 50 cents. So I'm going to nibble on this one today. We got the broccoli coleslaw. This was 33 cents. These right here, two little vegetable medleys. Uh, these are going to be, uh, these were two for a dollar, so I went ahead and grabbed those. So all of those will just add to the fruits and veggies that we have here in the house, frozen and fresh, and uh, really just spent a few dollars because they were all such a great deal. So all of that really under five dollars, you can't beat that. You cannot beat that. I'm super excited about it. And look, even got a five pound bag of potatoes, they were 79 cents. All of that, I got um, a thing of bagels here. The bagels were a dollar. Of course, you know, Brianna loves her bagels. And my husband had asked me to pick up more horseradish, also a dollar. This. Cheesecake. $3.99. Need I say more? It's cheesecake, guys, for $3. We had to pick that up. So then there's meat. Okay, I needed some meat in my house. And I prayed before we went in that I'd find some good meat deals, and I sure did. First, we have a package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. $2.50. Two packages of chicken breast tenderloins. $2 for each package. Super excited about those. I got these turkey brown and served sausages. They were a dollar each and I got two packages of those. Two packages of turkey uncured franks. Hardwood smoked. Also, uh, these were $1.50 actually. So I got two of those for $1.50. The Applegate Naturals Chicken and Cheddar Chicken Sausage. These were also $1.50, so I got two of those for $3. And then back here, Rick's Favorite. They still have those there. I'm going to keep picking them up while I can. These burger patties, it's one and a half pounds of ground beef for $2.99. It's even better per pound price than Aldi. So I got three packages of that. So we have, what is that, three, four and a half pounds of hamburger. So, I mean, if I, if I added up the poundage, it would be ridiculous how many pounds of meat I got for a dollar. But regardless, this is it, the big picture. Everything that we got today, super great deals, keeping it under $46. And I think 
With all of that meat, I can definitely use what I have here in the house to make meals for the next week. I think I've got plenty of stuff happening. Okay, I'm going to show you my menu plan for this week. I've been trying to do it on a different day. It just hasn't worked out. So I figured I'd just show it to you this week. Tonight is Wednesday. You're seeing it on Thursday, but tonight's Wednesday. We're going to have the hamburgers and hot dogs with some salad. Tomorrow we're going to have a, a pasta e fagioli. I'll put a link at the top if you don't know that recipe. And uh, we're going to have that tomorrow. Uh, Friday we're going to have a Dublin caudal. My word. It's like my favorite thing in the world. We're going to, we're going to try to make that with those, um, chicken and cheese sausages. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but we'll give it a go. Saturday, our home, oh, Friday we're going to a Messiah concert, by the way. A local college is having a free Messiah concert, so we're going to go see that. Saturday, um, is our homeschool group's dinner, so I'm bringing curry and chili, and I'm thinking that, um, it's, we're not going to eat all of that. There's always stuff left over. So I'm thinking that we'll just have the leftovers the next day. And if we don't have enough leftovers, I'll just make more. So that'll be easy for Sunday afternoon. Because we always have um, Sunday afternoon is our big meal. And then the evening, we usually just make, you know, we pick leftovers, do sandwiches, something, something simple. So that's what we'll be doing on Sunday. Monday, we're going to have tacos, tortillas, quesadillas, something of that effect. And then Tuesday, we'll have fried chicken with mashed potatoes and some veg. And then Wednesday, we'll have chicken soup. So that is our menu plan for the next week just to keep you updated. And don't forget tomorrow is Frugal Family Food. Tangi and I are gonna be live in the Frugal Family Food Facebook group in the morning to make sure that uh, we share with you the new Frugal Family Food meal this week. So make sure you check us out in the Frugal Family Food group. Uh, the link is in the description box. So that's it, that's the grocery haul, that's the menu plan, that's Frugal Family Food, that's everything in the world that you could hope for. So hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday and we'll see you next week here at the Fundamental Home, okay? Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.